For me, it's always about truth to materials. I'm not trying to depict anything or, you know, represent something. I want it just to be itself. And that's why I think I like the photographic plates because it's, it was sort of very contemplative and very slow and somehow very perfect. I've always loved Fox Talbot and have made various works over the years that relate to him. He invented the photogravure and he also invented the positive and negative. He allowed the print or the, the mass production of photography using inks that wouldn't fade. And he just set up these still lives and all these shelves he had with glass objects on them or uh, silver objects or ceramic objects and just took lots of photographs, his early photography, just to work out what looked, you know, what captured the light most. Years ago, I had this giant light bulb, and so I said, let's try it on a photograph viewer plate after having success with the um, negative. And when the result came out, we were blown away by it. And then I said, perhaps I should smash this light bulb onto the photograph viewer plate and see what happens then. What I loved about the photogravure, it looked like it captured the moment. It was like taking a photograph. Because where the object sits on the plate, you get that bit in focus, that tiny bit in focus, and everything else is out of focus. I became aware that the Bodleian Library had eight pieces of Fox Talbot's glassware. And then I thought, ooh, perhaps I could be really cheeky and ask them if I could borrow those articles of glass and so that these formal displays of the glassware became more and more informal and mysterious. Fox Talbot was all about the formality, you know, that these objects had been in the dark for a long time, you know, they've been in storage, they're not used. I mean, I'm always very interested in reactivating museum objects. As a lot of my work was about things that had met a sudden death, I thought it'd be quite nice to do something about, you know, the idea of, a, of an end. But, you know, it was taking that formal arrangement and making it into something quite precarious. So the idea of one day this glass will break is obviously about mortality and about the precariousness of where we are in the world. I just love the accessibility of, of the Hayward Touring Programme. The idea that these prints will go off on the road to all kinds of venues all over Britain for the next few years is wonderful. I really like the, you know, that somehow they can permeate, they can travel more than I can.